All right, what's going on today, guys? So today I'm showing you guys a video on how to build a uh, key rack or coat rack out of pallet wood. Um, I've got one in the garage. I'll show you the, the finished project product of it. But uh, these are the pieces we're gonna be starting with. I got two different piles. This is pine. This is cedar. Um, we're gonna be using the cedar today. So let's get it started. So it's gonna look similar to this in the end. end. Um, this is a gold nope stain on it. This is the pine. Um, might look a little bit different because I'm using instead of using the bigger pieces, I'm making all making them all even, and then we'll have that one bigger piece, thicker piece at the bottom. Gotta find a piece of cedar pallet wood that'll that'll suffice that. So let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, so I got all my boards marked. Where I'm gonna cut them. These two are gonna stay the same, but there's the mark. There, this one's. These, this one's 13 inches, and then this one is, I mean, this one's 18 inches, this one's about 17 and three quarter. I'm gonna leave that little gap up top just to make it look a little bit more uneven and distressed. But this one is, I believe, 13 inches. This is 15. I believe these two the same. 15, 13. Let's go ahead and cut them with a miter saw real quick. Got those all cut now. Also marked all of them. I guess one, two, three, so forth. Just to know which ones that go where. So I don't forget. All right, so I got them all laid out here. This is gonna be the shelf piece I'm gonna be using, just like that. Um, I'm gonna wait to use this piece of wood. I like the the edge on it. Once it's all sanded up, it'll look real cool. Um, it'll match more. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that to length now and start cutting out my brace beams. Little triangular pieces that go right there to cut out a 45. All right, so I got everything rough cut. Um, I got those two brace beams in there. These are gonna be the back pieces, so you glue it on like that, but this will be on the back side so you can't see it. You mount that to the wall. Same thing with this one, just at the bottom. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the wood that you need cut. I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding everything down. But I'm not gonna sand it too much just to give it that, that old rustic look to it too. All right, so I got everything all nice and sanded, sanded up. Um, now all we gotta do is start gluing it together and let it dry. All right, I got it all glued together. So we have to give it a little bit to dry. Probably a couple hours. We got these paint cans just balancing it up there. But uh, should be dry here in a few hours and we'll come out here and check on it. Here's what it looks like after it's all dry. Before the poly, I'm about to add a coat of that right now. Here's after the first coat of poly. It looks a little bit white in some spots, just where it's thicker. Got to dry it clear. I'll probably come back out here in about an hour or so and put another coat on there. Then we should be done with the painting aspect of it. All we gotta do is put the hooks on. <laughs> 